Hey everybody, a How To here, 316 RC, coming to you on the YouTube network with the final build on the MTXL. This took forever, <laughs> seems like so. I'm never in a hurry to do these uh, projects on these RCs. This started two years ago when I bought a box of parts of a stripped down MTXL off of eBay and it just evolved into what we're going to see today. So, second bit of news I have, some bad news. Some of you guys noticed, some don't. About a week ago, I was sitting at a red light about a, on the way home from work and uh, got rear-ended in the back of my truck. Take a look at this picture right here. This lady, uh, she, uh, she hit me in the back. It was a rainy night and everything, so I don't know what she was doing. We were all stopped at a red light. She hit me pretty good. So um, first and foremost, everybody's okay. There's no serious injuries. Um, secondly, I forgive her for hitting me in the back. Um, things happen. We got to move on. But sadly, the my truck's not going to be repairable. I got notice from the insurance company that they're going to consider it a total loss. They say the frame is bent, so her front end must have hit. I think they said it hit my hitch. And, of course, that's on the frame. So she had some kind of Mercedes coupe. Anyway, um, I'm going to be looking for a new truck here very shortly, so um, I appreciate your prayers that um, I would find the right truck that's uh, for me and uh, we'll move on. Anyway, enough said about that. Let's get down here and take a look at this final MTXL build. Alright, got our body off. Let's look at the final build inside. First of all, let's start off with the massive power plant Taylor RC 46 GT Big Bore. And yes, this may be a mistake. I don't know. We're going to see if the drivetrain is going to hold together or not. I do have, um, I did use the titanium pins from Detroit Performance, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, Beautiful job by Mike Taylor there. Um, he got the red anodizing pretty close to my FID upgrade parts. They're really close. So um, appreciate that. We got an outerwares, red outerwares cover on the air filter here. The carb on this from Mike is a uh, Rooster Tail 990. And you can see I got the red fuel lines and I got the high flow fuel kit from Full Force RC. I got a vented billet aluminum cap from DGI Racing on the fuel tank there. And this is an enlarged fuel tank also from DGI Racing, so it holds more fuel than the standard low C. Uh, wow. This thing is just, uh, wish you guys could see this in person. Um, it's This truck is heavy. I didn't weigh it, but with all this aluminum upgrades, it's super heavy. Got in the front, swing around, got the stock Losi shocks, but I did buy these aluminum. I'm not sure where I got these from. I think maybe DJI Racing aluminum stops on the bottom. Of course, the arms, gap racing, got gap racing axles, dog bones, got uh, gap racing links here. Now, one thing I didn't like about these links, these links are as small as I can make them. Now, these guys design this stuff for our trucks. I cannot, I cannot extend these links. I got these adjusted as best as I can. I do have... I do have them set up where I think it's going to be all right, but I'm a little disappointed in those. Those should be a little smaller so you can extend them out some so you can get the, whether you're trying to get negative or positive, whatever you're trying to do there on the camber, you can't, you know, that's just, that's disappointing. I don't know who fits this stuff out, but they don't. But, oh, beautiful Taylor RC chassis down there. This is version one of the chassis. So, um, this center diff mount, 
Um, I think version 2 of the chassis, you can use the standard 67 tooth MTXL spur gear. And that's one reason why I went to the Taylor RC Big Bore engine. is because I had to use a 61 tooth spur gear so it did not hit the chassis. Um, and this is a 25 tooth pinion. Uh, Phil over at uh, Filthy RC um, told me that's what he had to do. So uh, that's what we're running here. 61 tooth spur, 25 on the pinion. I think the stock, stock Losi, I'm not 100%, I think it's a, it's definitely a 67 tooth spur. And I don't know if it's a 17 pinion or a 19 pinion. I think it might be 17 is the pinion on that. So um, that's why I decided to, originally I was going to put, Bartolone Reed in here, and I changed to this, so I'll use the Bartolone Reed engine on something else, maybe my 5T. We'll see, but anyway, let's swing around to the other side. All right, went ahead here. I got a pair of dual high tech 845 servos for the steering. I got a, I believe this is an IRP steering link. Steering's been upgraded to a hot racing. Aluminum steering system. You can see that in there. Gap racing chassis brace, front and rear. GTB racing aluminum center diff mount and brake system. I did upgrade the brakes. No, I didn't. These are the ones that came with the GTB. These brake ones. So I did not upgrade those. The linkage. This was a mess getting this right. Again, Phil. Over at Filthy RC, help me uh, uh, figure out this linkage and get it bent properly. And I had to, um, this is a steering servo and the throttle servo is a, a, a Roven. This is, I think, a 55 kg from them. So I figured I had that, so I figured I'll put that in. Um, I got the TPS Boomerang. Again, um, Phil told me you're going to have to reverse this servo and get this boomerang horn. So it all worked out. I have her all set up. Everything's perfect on it. It's nice and free. No binding. So that looks good. Uh, GTB racing aluminum uh, <clears throat> here for the drive uh, shaft uh, for the drive shaft mount. Uh, there's two bearings in there. Two bearings in there, so uh, which couple this short piece that comes off of the center diff. I don't know if we can see that. There's a short piece that comes off the center diff, and it connects into a drive cup here on this longer drive shaft, which goes into the rear. So, yeah, both front and rear have aluminum diff cases. That's these on the outside which were from Gap Racing as well, and they have DGI Racing aluminum diff cups or diff uh, differential uh, cases on the inside as well. Like I said, I got those titanium pins in there too. So FID diff mounts, FID shock towers, more Gap Racing in the back. So yeah, that's it. A lot, a lot in this truck. I'm very happy with the way it looks. Pipe coated by Jet Hot out of North Carolina. Ceramic coating on the Taylor RC pipe. On my body, a couple things I had to do on the inside is I had to cut this out. Uh, there's a piece that sticks out. You can see it right there. That was hitting the it was hitting the pipe about right there. So I trimmed that out. I trimmed that out and then I uh, worried about the body melting. Maybe from the heat. Hopefully that ceramic coating will help keep the heat down. And then I put some metal tape all around that area where the pipe's really going to be closed to protect the body from excessive heat. So we'll see if that works out or not. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. How you think it turned out. Once we get some warm weather here, we're going to go out and get the first... Uh, we're going to get this thing fired up for the first time. This is my first big bore engine. So I've never, ever started one so not expecting too much trouble there but uh that's it
this is it, guys. This is the final build on the MTXL. So leave me a comment below what you guys think about this. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting it fired up here in the spring. All right. I've got to get out of here. Al2 here, 316RC. Thanks for being along for the ride on this long MTXL build. I'll see you all soon. So long.